Welcome to the fourth dimension. Hey, it's Ken Jackson here. Welcome again. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing this 2014 Toyota Camry XLE. Sorry for all the background noises, but it'll be all right. I got the external mic going on. Um, first off, I want to say you guys be safe out there. Check on your family, check on your friends. They love you. Even if they don't want to admit it, they love you. Check on them. I hope everybody's been doing okay. You can message me, leave a comment in the video. There's also, uh, you can send me an email. Because some of these cars I'm reviewing are for sale. But a Houston area, or if you're close to the Houston area, just message me, ask me about it. I'll let you know the price. I'll let you know the details of it, so forth and so on. Let's hop right into this review of this 2014 Toyota Camry XLE. Thank you. Let me give you guys a quick walk around this Camry. This is a new mic, kind of a new mic, definitely a new camera, but I will be switching back and forth between the cameras because there's a few things that my other camera can do that this camera can't. Quick walk around of this 2014, 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, 178 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. Nice halogen bulbs, fog lights at the bottom. This is a mid trim if you're wondering. This isn't the highest trim. Your highest trim is gonna have the V6 engine in it. Quick little walk around, mirrors do not fold. 17 inch wheels on it. All season tires, running on regular gas. It's a Camry, there's not much to say, it's a Camry literally can never go wrong with the Camry. You guys know that. Incudescent bulbs in the back. XLE trim. One exhaust outlet. Now, since it is a Camry, you're not going to have much pep unless you upgrade to the V6 model. Mid trim, sunroof up top. Dual climate AC vents. This is where Toyota first started that enormous grill that they have now. It's a little bit smaller, 2014 model. The design of this car, it's okay. It's not too bad. It's okay. It's not as aggressive. It does definitely. The newer Camrys look wonderful. But I can see how it's slowly integrating into that 2017 look, which this doesn't look bad at all. Top into the trunk, you're getting 15 cubic foot of trunk space. Look at that. Let me take some of this stuff out of here. As you know, these are not. These, actually, these are the uh, floor mats. You get a spare tire at the bottom. Underneath that plastic down there. It's a Camry. Nice sounding speakers. Good on trunk space. Good on leg room. Good on everything antenna up top. It's a very good car. We're gonna hop into the engine before we hop into the back seat. Give me a moment here. All right, guys, at this point, it ends up getting really windy outside to where the external mic isn't able to pick up what I'm saying. You can still hear me, but the wind is overpowering my voice. But basically, I'm going over the engine details and how clean the engine bay looks and how much space you have. It is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, 178 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 170 pound foot of torque at 4,100 RPM front wheel drive tra drive train sorry about that six speed auto transmission 25 in a city for mpg 38 on the highway and 28 combined now 
I'm going to be more careful with where I'm positioned at and where the car is positioned at to keep this from happening because it is a little bit windy even at the beginning of the video and later on but once I get into the interior obviously everything is okay but at the moment I had to do another recording there's also a dual overhead cam variable variable valve timing it's it's pretty well placed engine pretty small engine bay but the way that the car the way that they cleaned up the engine bay looks really good though the last time i went to that dealer and i looked at one of their vehicles the engine bay looked like it had been through a flood they said it hadn't been through a flood but you know how a car looks when it's been through water it gets all that dirt and all that grime and stuff on the inside where the engine bay is that's basically what that it was a ford taurus that's what that looked like but this looks a lot better the radiator is placed well the dipsticks are placed well the battery is in a good spot all your fluids are easy to reach so you can change them or refill them which is really good and it's a very quiet engine i mean it's a camera you can't expect much but it's a very quiet engine it's not there's no knocking and the headlights are easier to get into to change the bulbs and that's what you want you know you want your fluids placed right you all of the higher model cars the cars that cost a lot more but they got the plastic everywhere and you gotta unscrew this and pull the plastic up to get to the dipstick and you gotta do too much work just to do simple maintenance but that's the beautiful thing about these lower price cars is that they run for a long time they last a long time and they're very easy to do maintenance on for simple maintenance for everybody and that's what you want hello there welcome to the back seat we got a few dealer tags up in here don't worry about that let's listen to this rattle let's listen to this insulation how well this door sounds good solid stuff let's get a soft close let's let the let's let the babies the little babies try and close the door for the first time elderly people okay let's get the, the teens that don't get to go to the club tonight they got to go to walmart with their little brother so they mad at their mom give it that door slam you know your mom be don't slam my doors let's get that one more time nice and solid let's go over this leg room the seat is a little bit back as you can see it's lean back a little bit i'm leaning in the seat i got knee room i can move back and forth Check headroom, slouch down, good headroom. Let me sit up straight. Good headroom still. Ignore me, I haven't got my hair cut. Look at this. XLE trim. Nice interior. I like the touch of it. We got the fake little wood green plastic. Hard touch plastic in the bag. Oh no. Oh no Toyota. Mm -mm -mm. Map pockets down here. Look at this though. I like this. These do not come apart. You cannot slide them or anything like that. Whatever size of drink you got, you're just gonna have to figure out which hole. <laughs> but it's, it's a nice touch. Very nice touch. Another little storage cubby down here. Rear AC vents. I like that, I like that addition. To check your speakers. Two subs in the back. We got any on the door panels? Not seeing any on the rear door panels. Two subs in the back speaker for the front passenger door speaker for the the driver door you have two tweeters up front mm, not very many speakers in here but i tell you what it's a camry just like the previous generation the speakers sound amazing they sound good it sounds like you have a new a new sound system up in here anyway i'm gonna go to the top Clothes hangers, seats do fold down as they should. Got the child lock hooks. Once again, cup holders, different sizes. Got two more in the middle. No easy access to the trunk, that's okay, that's understandable. Let me tell you guys about this color. 
I'm, I'm, I'm liking this color. I'm really liking this color. I'm liking the kind of grayish. I like the wood grain. And I like this silver trim right here. Probably could have done without the black. Or maybe even black and wood grain looks well. It looks really nice. Black and black goes with dang near everything. This is hard plastic. So is this. This is all soft. Until you get down here. Going back to hard plastic. Leather seats. Nice and comfortable. Good little feet leg room. You know my bag. We're missing anything back here. There's never much of anything to see in these cars that I've been reviewing in the back seat. So let's hop into the front. Into the front seat. Let's check that door status. Soft clothes. Had a nice day with the fellas, with the ladies. Had a nice little day. Soft little clothes. Relax. Sounds pretty good. Pretty solid, you know. Late for work. Drop my McDonald's sandwich. Mad. Bad dreams slamming doors, you know. Just give it one more slam. I can hear something in the back. When, when you slam the door, I can hear a little something in the back. It's still well insulated, don't get me wrong. Just that little slam just kind of gives off something that's in the back. It's like it's kind of like an echo. Anyway. Once again. We got soft touch up here. Hard plastic isn't is not continued. Blank switches, traction control switch. Got some blank switches, AC vents, tweeters up there, defrost vent. Oh, a small little tweeter up here. That's a very small one. I'm not gonna lie. Another tweeter up there. AC vents. You, gotta, you guys know the drill. Two cup holders. Cup holders up here. One for each driver and passenger. It's a little storage could be down here. A little storage right here. We got soft touch. Up here is gonna be nice for when you ordering your drinks at McDonald's, wherever you're getting your drinks from. We got hard plastic, hard plastic right here. A little change holder right there. Six speed automatic. It's not a manual. Six speed automatic, bro. No CVT. CVT is in a hybrid model. Six speed automatic. Good transmission. Good engine. Good car. 140 on the dashboard. I like. Blue is my favorite color. I'm liking them gauges. I'm liking them gauges, Toyota. Now it is a little off because the car is the, the, the color of the interior kind of throws off the gauges, but it's fine. Dual climate control, XLE trim, touchscreen radio with a backup camera, heated seats, passenger and driver. Two more blank switches, storage cubby down here with an aux port and USB 12 volt. 12 volt cigarette lighter port adapter one tier cubby storage for the middle got another little storage cubby right here 12 volt cigarette lighter port adapter again able to lock your glove compartment box it's kind of deep kind of it's one tier also put you a little some back there but I'm not going to take it off right now easy access to your cabin air filter you guys can hear me moving around in these leather seats don't worry about that <laughs> so far i'm liking the driver experience the passenger experience you're getting the heated seats you're getting the dual climate it's beautiful steering wheel controls bluetooth connectivity telephone controls let's go through some of these features real quick start the engine you're gonna have to put your foot on the brake you press the engine start stop button but we're just gonna check on the electronics at the moment it is getting a little hot radio's all the way down already one touch up and down for the driver everything else you have to push and hold got your mirror controls one two three four five six seven eight cup holder slots very good very very good let's go through let's turn the accessories on like i said touch screen radio oh you have a has navigation go home you have a 
navigation, location detection, different apps you can put on here. Has a light switch. Like I said, AC controls. You got your eco mode, different apps you can run through. Let me put that closer for you guys. I'm sorry about that. Turn that down. Radio, sports, yelp. Say this touch screen, or you can move it with the. Uh, you can move it with the buttons. I'm sorry about that. You connect your phone to it, so you you're getting everything. You're getting CD player, touch screen radio. You're getting the aux port. You're getting Bluetooth. Navigation. All these different phones up here that you're gonna ignore. <laughs> let's go over here to the gauge clusters very decent looking gauge clusters a bunch of different lights I don't know if you guys saw that but I can I can show you guys again a bunch of different warning lights that's very good that's what you want to see remember back in the day we had like one or two lights and you had to guess what was going on <laughs> anyway got your temperature 104 miles on it very good sounding car everything works AC is blowing cold heated seats still getting hot radio controls right here volume up and down back switch switch your mode you can mute it if you want to hold it you can mute it you got your signal lights washing windshield wiper controls cruise control down here so right now let's see if we can change this change your brightness is that it yeah that's it we can't turn that other one reset your mileage triple odometer average mpg very good. There's not much to see on that screen. You're not missing much. We're going to get into this drive in a minute. Like I said, you get a sunroof. XL E trim. Small mirror. Put the, pull the extended clip out, block the sun. Sunglass holder. Map lights garage door open the buttons get three of them this is your buttons to control the sunroof it's about everything in here the interior like i said it looks nice i'm pretty sure there's a black interior and that wood green makes it look lovely the wood green and the black is a beautiful combination if you guys can look up pictures of that you see understand what i'm talking about we're gonna get into this drive double check make sure there's nothing I'm missing compass on the mirror auto dimming mirror welcome to the drive people welcome to the drive we're running on hopes and dreams right now aka the gas mileage <laughs> You do have automatic, well, electronic seat controls in the front for the passenger and driver. Lumbar support, it's all electronic. Like I said, you do get a backup camera. Looks okay, no trajectory on it. No trajectory. You can go through all that in the menus. You can set up everything. Go through your settings, adjust the clarity and things like that. I think I want to raise this up a little bit. That is a manual steering wheel control, manual steering wheel lever. I don't know how I feel about this new recording area. It seems okay. But there's also a lot of traffic over there. 
Seems like an okay area. The front wheel drive car. You can hear them things grind. Right now we're in eco mode. We gonna leave that on. That's where you're getting your best gas mileage anyway. does not have much pep to her. Not much, but she will get up there. Getting a lot of a lot of road noise. A lot of road noise going at 40. A lot of it. Excuse me. This neighborhood is really nice. Really nice. Nice little roads, nice little turns. This way we can test out how well this car turns and how sharp the turns are. Houses are nice and separated. I like this neighborhood a lot. We're gonna take it slow. Those are really nice. Let go of the wheel, stay straight. Eco mode, you're getting the best gas mileage. You're getting your best gas mileage. I think those mailboxes should be in a different spot. Just in case you get somebody that's not paying attention <laughs> and they end up hitting them because that is very close to the street. Slow it down a little bit more. These roads, I like these turns. I don't like holding the steering wheel like this. Nice little area. I just wanted to take it through there real quick. Right back to the streets. Uh, we're running on hopes and dreams, like I said, so I won't be doing much of sport mode. I will put it in sport mode for a little bit. Only for a little bit. With these brakes, I cannot see the light because I am too close. That is okay. We can try sport mode for a little bit. Look at this side. I'm going to race this side real quick. It's my cousin, the Scion TC. It's a lot of road noise. I can hear it. It's a lot of road noise. That's the only bad part. This, peak, this point of view video is going to be pretty bad. <laughs> because there's going to be so much road noise going on. But it's a Camry. So, in fourth gear right now. Bit of pep to it, okay. Okay, a little bit of pep to it. We can check this U turn, check your turning radius. The light is green, and they're still sitting there for whatever reason.
very nice. Still have room to keep turning too. It's a mid-sized car, so. Windows are rolled up. Sunroof is down, sunroof is not open. But I still hear a lot of road noise coming from the car and everyone else's car. Look at this dip. Oh my God. Ew. Tail bump up doing that, boy. We're gonna park right here. We can get into this point of view drive. I love the turning radius on this. Cameras are always smooth. The only problem I have is the road noise. That is literally the only problem I have with this car. Other than that, it's a nice drive. It's a nice smooth drive. Like I said, you're getting good speakers. XLE is a nice trim. It doesn't even cost that much. It's a camera. It's gonna feel like it runs forever. I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. Let's get into this point of view drive. Thank you guys for tuning in. Always appreciate you guys.